Hey, how's it going everyone? I'm Nathan with the ebookreader.com. For this video, we're gonna talk about Onyx's handwriting recognition feature. So I got the Onyx Note Pro here, also works on the smaller Nova Pro uh, and Onyx's other devices that run the uh, Android 6.0 software here. So this is one of the new features they included with the newer update here. So the handwriting recognition feature works with the following languages. They got these download packs for all these languages and it comes with Chinese and English ready to go. You just have to connect to the internet the first time you run it. So there are a couple of different ways where you can use the conversion feature. Um, you can use it with Onyx's built-in Note app. Uh, it also works with Onyx's keyboard, which I'll show shortly. So with the Note app, you can just write your notes on the screen, and then you can convert uh, them to type text just by hitting the AI button. I'll get a test page written up here. Um, then you can see some of the limitations uh, and see some of the different features, uh, like using different punctuations, like a semicolon and uh, uh, question marks. Yeah, it, it, rec it recognizes all this stuff. So I did not uh, edit this part at all because it does take a little while to convert and that was just one page. So if you had like multiple t pages, uh, it would probably take quite a while to convert. But that's how long it took to convert this right here. As you can see, the conversion does have some issues. So this is just their early release. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if they uh, fix this up a little bit better. But like whenever you have a new line, it doesn't recognize that line. So I had conversion and feature written on two different lines. So it always spaces those together when you have two separate lines. Uh, it just needs to work more on like the spacing issues like uh, punctuation. If they just had like a space built into punctuation, then it would probably solve that problem. Uh, so yeah, it does have some issues. You got to like manually clean up the spaces from one line to the next. Um, let's go ahead and add a different page here. So I was doing this test before with uh, like if you don't put any spaces in the uh, sentence, uh, sometimes it can kind of, uh, it, it recognizes it and it will separate the words correctly, which is kind of interesting because if you write these words like down in a list, uh, it won't put any spaces in them. So it's just kind of weird how you got to work around the limitations with uh, how this um, conversion feature currently works. Uh, so it is nice, but like if you do a list like this, it doesn't recognize line breaks properly. It'll just group everything together uh, when you're writing down a list like that. It doesn't recognize a different line. Uh, it would be nice if it did because you could just automatically have your spaces added that way. Uh, so you can also use Onyx's keyboard uh, to convert text for you as well, which is really cool. I find this actually more useful than the other feature because uh, you can just write away into this entry field right here and then it will convert that to typed text and you can automatically just enter that into your, you can tap on it or you can just start writing it again and it will automatically enter it. So did get T instead of text. It does help when your uh, writing is uh, good. Uh, it was kind of cramped up in the corner there for the word text so I can see why it uh, wasn't sure on that one. Um, but yeah, so this does work pretty cool. So this is Onyx's keyboard. You actually have to go into settings in the keyboard and the language and set it over to the Onyx keyboard because by default it uses the Android keyboard which doesn't have this option to uh, use your handwritten feature to convert to text. So uh, yeah, that's a pretty cool way to do um, work with a keyboard instead of having to manually type in each letter, uh, having it convert it for you. But the only issue like uh, with the spacing, so it has spacing issues as well. So whenever you continue writing, it will put the, it'll like, will select the previous words that you wrote down on the screen or you can tap them or hit enter. But again, when you do it this way, it does not space the words properly. So um, that's like the main limitation with this conversion feature right now um, is that you have to go back in and manually add the spaces, uh, clean things up a bit, but it is fairly accurate as far as getting the words right as long as your handwriting's halfway decent. Mine's getting pretty sloppy here. It's kind of hard to write at this direct straight angle. Um, but yeah, so I mean, it is a cool feature just needs to work on the, uh, they need to work on the spacing issues. Uh, and then it could be a lot more useful because right now you have to manually go in, uh, add spaces using the keyboard. Uh, you can also control the font size up here. So you could get bigger font size. Uh, you can also uh, bold your selections here, bold your text, underlines, italic. Uh, and then you've also got the uh, export option. Uh, and then over here on the left, the one I missed is the line spacing. So you can increase, decrease your line spacing. So if they can get the uh, spacing issues worked out, I mean, this, this would work really well, actually. Um, and then another thing you can do is they also have search. So you can actually search uh, through your handwritten notes for words, and it can recognize those words. Um, you can use the regular keyboard as well. Obviously, you don't have to write everything in like I'm doing right now, but I, I kind of like that feature now that I got used to it. Uh, it's not even mentioned in the manual. Someone mentioned it on YouTube uh, as they came across it using the Onyx keyboard. You would never think to just switch over to the Onyx keyboard. Uh, anyway, being able to search your handwritten notes is a pretty cool, uh, pretty cool feature. You don't get this on any of the other 
uh, you know, Ink Note devices that just the Onyx's devices have this right now. Uh, it's with their newer software. Uh, it does help to have, you know, clearer handwriting, but I was doing a test here trying to make it a little bit sloppier, uh, especially the word better. That doesn't really look very good, and handwriting is kind of sloppy. But it did a, a good job of actually converting this right here. So, I mean, it was able to recognize even the sloppy uh, sentence just as well as it was to uh, recognize the uh, regular sentence. But again, doesn't put a space between the uh, period and the next line, so you got to manually go and clean that up. So that's a closer look at how the uh, handwriting conversion feature works on the Onyx Note Pro, same as the Onyx Nova Pro, and uh, Onyx's other devices run Android 6.0 software. Uh, so this is the 2.1.2 software. It's also available on the 2.1.1 software. Uh, it should be coming out early June. Thank you guys for watching. Have a good day. Check out the full review for a closer look at the device in action. Bye.